Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I testify. Hallelujah. Uh, this short testimony of shortened down a lot. This short testimony of shortened down a lot. This is a very short testimony. Um, you can say it has, because of this testimony, it's led me to where I am today. So I was born in Scotland, but I now live in Newcastle. Um, so I was born to the church and baptized from very young. Um, but but then me and my family we moved um to about an hour, maybe two hours away from church. So from young we didn't um go to church every week. So my uh parents they worked in a takeaway, so they would often uh, not take drive us to church every Saturday. But of course, this is not an excuse to say that we shouldn't observe the Sabbath. And around 2004, 2007, my dad was diagnosed with lung cancer. Um, so we hardly we hardly went to church even more. So we Because he was in and out of hospital and resting at home. Um, so I was in and out of hospital and resting at home. So was um, so at that time, we were still quite young, I was about 11. Um, so my mom had to take care of my older sister, older brother, me and my younger sister. So my sister was about 7, I think. So it was quite tough for my mom to handle everything in Scotland. So for my mom, it's very difficult to take care of my mom. So by God's grace, we moved down to Newcastle, where my mom's side of the family lives. Thank you, Lord. Later, we were able to move to Newcastle. Where my mom lives. That's the place where my mom lives now. Because my grandma and all of my mom's relatives live there. Because my wife and my wife and my wife live there. So we can give some give my mom some support. So they can help my mom. Um, when I think back about it now, when I think back about it now, I can really say that this is um first bitter and then sweet. I can say that this is first bitter and then sweet. Yeah, um, because it's obviously sad that my dad passed away. Um, it's very sad that my dad passed away. But I can say that by God's grace and His plan for me, and that I can come to church every week and receive the Holy Spirit. Because when I was in Scotland, we rarely went to church. We hardly prayed as a family. But by God's grace, I am. In church, and I'm here today now. Okay. So, thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord. I'm able to come to church today. Today, you can come to this church. Um, so again, I think out of all four of my, all four of us children. Um, in our four children. Um, we thank God that I am able to see past the bitterness. Thank you, Lord. Can you let me, um, can you see past the bitterness? Of course, I'm sad, but I really thank God that His plan for me and allowed me to understand. Yeah. Um, so I'd just like to share a quick verse from Proverbs. Now, I want to share with you a verse from Proverbs chapter three, verse five to six. Proverbs chapter three, verse five to six. Oh, from verse five to six. Oh, Proverbs chapter three, verse five to six. 
Yep, so Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. 真言第三章第五节，你要专心仰赖神，为了依靠自己的聪明，在你一切所行的事上都要认定他，他必指引你的路。So from this, it's a small encouragement, a small reminder. 这对我来说一个是，嗯，是一个提醒，也是一个鼓励。We may have uh, plans and um, yeah, plans for our life. 我们可能在生命中有很多的计划。But it is ultimately God that holds everything in His hand. 可是 so even though we may not understand at the time why things happen to us, but all we need to do is trust in the Lord with all our heart. In our ways acknowledge Him. And He shall direct your paths. Um, so here is my short encourage, uh, short testimony. Uh, May our glory be unto God.